Hello, my awesome Pisces. I missed you guys. Happy weekend to you. Happy holidays to you. It's Saturday morning where I am. Um, this is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. You want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So that's what we're going to do. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. The universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces, for Pisces highest good please you know we show us what's coming up for pisces in their life and how is pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for pisces in their life and how is pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey oh this one clearly wants to show up as extra message this is you feeling very sad um emotionally disappointed you're going through a lot especially since this is showing up in first position and the way it's painted this is you feeling unloved unappreciated by people around you this is you feeling so alone i'm so sorry you're going through so much this is tough especially at this time of the year when you're supposed to be together with people that mean a lot to you that are there for you you feel so alone you have a lot of drama going on at your job. Yeah, a lot of the issues that you're experiencing, emotional withdrawals, is uh, to do with your job. But it's not the job itself. It's the environment you work in is showing up as a toxic. Yeah, affecting you deeply, negatively, emotionally. Yeah, this is you loving yourself, looking up towards the heavens to look for God's love for you. And yes, it is. You see, this is cup of love sent to you from higher power made out of tree branches. So whenever you feel disappointed by people and their behavior, go within, spend time in nature, pray, meditate, connect with higher power. The fastest way for us to connect with higher power, creator God, is through meditation, prayer, and spending time in nature. Yeah, you are. there are some people in your family that you really don't want to um, spend time with during this holiday season because you remember all the shenanigans they put you through, the drama, the gossip, uh, the heartbreak. Yeah, this is you not looking forward to seeing some of the people from your past. Yeah. So you know that people really don't change their character. You already know that, right? Just like the zebra doesn't change its stripes. Honestly, people do not change their character. No, they don't. They may somewhat adjust their behavior, but people don't change their character. And you already know that. You already know what to expect from some of those people who smile in your face, but as soon as you are not paying attention, they gossip yeah and talk about you behind your back universe please show us what's coming up for pisces in their life and how is pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey <clears throat> yeah see you need to balance your emotions it's very important because life is very stressful for all of us every single person is experiencing stress in life right that's part of life unfortunately but you need to balance your emotions because you have days where you feel in control of your emotions you feel fine and then the following day you feel like you're falling off this wheel like you are plunging into a depression so this could be dangerous when you're going through such uh, quick emotional highs and lows okay this is you needing to find a way to balance your emotions whether it's through meditation every day yoga exercise walking in nature in park whatever works for you yeah we all have to do it we all have to do it right yeah be aware of our emotions yeah you see this is you so something is going on at your job you're going to find something out after new year's at your job uh, unexpectedly or maybe even you're not going to be that shocked when it happens so something is going to be revealed to you by higher power um 
for your highest good. So people are often scared of the tower card. I'm not. I welcome it. Why? Because the tower means that higher power universe will expose some kind of uh, important, um, relevant uh, things to you, truth to you that you couldn't see before or didn't want to see perhaps. We're hoping that it's not true. But either way, something you're going to find out of high relevance and it's going to help you make wise decisions for yourself at your job or business. Yeah, you see, some of those fake people are going to try to uh, gain your trust again. You see, toxic relatives, fake friends, neighbors, you name it. See, demonic wings here and a snake. Be careful. Uh, yes, make amends with them. Yes, be on peaceful grounds with them. But remember, uh, be careful trusting people who betrayed you in the past. Yeah, this is you not looking forward to seeing uh, reconnecting with certain people that have betrayed you in the past. Yeah, this is you being very careful, cautious. Yeah, your emotions are all over the place. This is you feeling very emotional, which is normal, by the way. This is how we all feel during holiday season when we're supposed to rejoice and spend time with loved ones. A lot of those loved ones betrayed us in the past and it's hard to trust them again, right? Yeah. This is you going through a lot of emotional roller coasters right now. Yeah, family showing up here. So, hmm. yeah, this is you dreading some people that you really don't want to see. You see, you're still healing. You need to allow yourself to heal from heartbreak, from deep emotional disappointment by some of these people. This is you needing to really go within and allow yourself to heal. Know that... You can't take their behavior personally. No, you can't. Uh, when people behave this way, you have to understand that is a, uh, a reflection on them and their character, not on you. Yeah, you have a lot of drama going on at your job. So right now, family members that you're trying to heal from uh, emotionally, let go of the emotional baggage, resentment you've been holding on to and also your job. So there's some shenanigans going on at your job or business. Hmm. You feel disconnected from your soulmate at this time. You feel very disconnected from them emotionally and physically. You know, please show us what's coming up for Pisces. How is Pisces currently doing? Yeah, you see, you don't want to see some of the people that you feel you will need to see during this holiday season. You really are not looking forward to seeing some of them because you feel betrayed by them. There's a lot of betrayal at your job. I would be more concerned about what's going on at your job than within your family. Yes, you have valid concerns about certain relatives, but there's a lot going on behind your back that you're not aware of. You might be suspecting, but you're not aware of. Uh, you see, you're going to find out though, because that's one of the universal laws. The truth eventually comes to the surface sooner or later. So after New Year's, you're going to find out some things. You're going to see the truth. It's going to be very evident to you. Yeah. So you're doing too much for the amount of money you're getting paid for what you do. Yeah, you're doing too much. There's something going on. <clears throat> some kind of secrets at your job. Yeah, that has to do with money. You see this? Hmm. You are very competent, you are very diligent, you are needed, you are resourceful, you are a catch. You see this? They need you. Wherever it is you work, they need you. They're hoping you don't wake up to what's really going on and don't leave. Um, you have too much to offer to be working in a uh, chaotic environment like that. Yeah, with lots of drama. Let me see what's going on. Yeah, this is you needing to recognize your worth and make necessary changes this coming year for yourself. Not allow toxic people affect you negatively. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces that Pisces is not with at this time, that Pisces has been dealing with. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces? And how's that soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time, especially emotionally oh they want to see you they realize 
they lost you. Yeah, they realize they lost you, but they're not able to let you go completely. The world is reversed. They feel like it's not over. They feel like they don't have closure, that, that they can't let you go. The world is reversed. So they feel this is incomplete, that they're not able to let you go. They love you a lot, but because they're showing up as just a knight, not a king or queen of cups, just a knight of cups, shows me that this person has very hard time <sighs> initiating communication, expressing emotions, showing emotional vulnerability. They can be rather emotionally detached, uh, aloof, guarded with their heart. And they're hiding from you how much you really mean to them. They're not telling you there's something going on in their life that you're not aware of. Or maybe you suspect already there's something going on in your life. Secrets are showing up here. Um, things unsaid by them that they should have told you about. Let's see their subconscious position. Yeah, they're not able to let you go. This is them being very driven to re-enter your life. They're not sure yet how, but... They're not able to let you go because they love you, but they need to show that love, express that love, verbalize things, communicate effectively, listen to your concerns, be present in your life, right? Um, this means that they are determined. This person is checking up on you. Yeah. So they're checking up on you to see who's in your life, who you're spending time with. Yeah. What you're doing, trying to figure out what your current state of mind is, what you're feeling, thinking, planning. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces that Pisces has been dealing with. This person can be very determined when they want something. Uh, they can be very driven. Yeah. Yeah, they don't communicate effectively. No, they need to learn how to communicate effectively, how to listen in all sorts of relationships. This person is very guarded with their heart. Wow, they have a lot of respect for you, for walking away from them. Yeah. They're not shocked that you're letting them go. They expected it. They have so much respect for you. They don't like it. Don't get me wrong. They don't like it. But they respect you so much for recognizing your worth and walking away from this uh, very unbalanced relationship. I wouldn't even call it a relationship. Uh, yeah. Um, Empress, they have a lot of respect for you. They view you as the catch, as someone of high quality. Look how much they miss you. If you think that uh, they don't miss you, that they silent and don't miss you, uh, no, it's quite the opposite. This is them feeling sad, alone, heartbroken. <clears throat> they don't know how to express their emotions, though. Yeah, this is how they truly feel. All those swords in their back. You see this? All those swords in their back, self-inflicted stuff this is them uh suffering in silence not hearing from you worries them your silence worries them they're so worried that if they try to come back or talk to you you're gonna reject them they know you are quite disappointed in them and their behavior in your life yeah unexpected communication is showing up here they were hoping you would reach out to them kind of cool off and reach out to them and they realizing you're not chasing them this person, you have to be careful with them because they know how to pull on your emotions, feelings, how to make you feel sorry for them. Be careful. Do not let them play with your emotions. They need to meet you halfway, be consistent in your life. Yeah, this worries me. Yeah, the emperor with ten of swords. This person can be very much ego-driven. Yeah, Um They've made some serious mistakes in this connection with you and they're feeling it. Now they feel it by losing you. You see, they regret it deeply, but they need to let that ego go to make wise decisions in their life. Yeah, they can be very alluring, attractive. Um, they like things their way. They like to be alpha, like to be in control. And look, the more restrictive they are with people around them in their life, the more they feel like this. They realize this kind of behavior does not pay. Right, You need to be able to work with people, be fair, be consistent, be reliable, communicate effectively, listen, right? Um, they need to learn all of that and more, and they realize that. So that's a good thing that they see it clearly now. Unfortunately, they had to lose you to finally wake up and realize it. 
We all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. But the good thing is they see clearly now why they're losing you, right? Or lost you in some cases already. Universe, please show us. So we all make mistakes. We need to, however, be honest with ourselves and others in order to learn from them, right? Universe, please show us what is going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces. Look how concerned they are because they view us attractive, available, not a relationship with them. A very strong-willed, independent, emotionally, financially. You're not chasing them. They're worried you're going to be meeting somebody else. Yeah, you see, they're trying to figure out how to approach you without looking desperate if it's not too late. Yeah, look how scared they are of real rejection, judgment. You put your foot down and you said, enough is enough. Yeah, they're spying on you. This person has a very hard time initiating communication. They're so scared of looking emotionally vulnerable. So we saw three of cups, uh, Pisces. You are meeting people of quality. So make yourself available. Don't sit at home. Go to classy places where cultured people hang out. Three of cups means you're meeting a new soulmate and uh, new friends, um, new friendships are going to be formed between you and new people of quality to some kind of social gatherings, parties, outings, celebrations, mutual friends and acquaintances. Yeah, don't put all of your eggs in one basket. Make yourself available. Remember, you're an empress. You have a lot to offer. So you need to be very selective who you pick as your mate in life, right? We're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life that showed up as three of cups. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, the Three of Cups energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Pisces, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.